Star Citizen Alpha 3.13 is now in open PTU. That means anyone that has a game package can try out the latest PTU patch on the test servers. Just copy your account across to the PTU in the Persistent Test Universe tab of the RSI website's account settings section. Bam, you'll be able to select the little PTU tab and the launcher and actually play in the PTU. This comes with a PTU 3.13.0O patch that actually fixes a bit more as well as does a bit of a polish pass on the reputation UI as well. A load of blockers and major bugs have been addressed. They've shortened the duration of Bounty Hunter location markers. They fixed an issue that could cause damage to penetrate sign distance field SDF shields while the ship is moving. That's great. That means you can actually have shields on your ship again. They fixed an issue causing missions to not start for a long time when arriving at destination. Uh, space stations at Lagrange points should no longer take several minutes to stream in. Ship names should now persist correctly after an insurance claim. They fixed an issue causing ships to get impounded shortly after spawning. Weapon icon, ammo count, and grenade counts should no longer be missing on the user HUD, so FPS HUDs have been fixed, basically. They fixed an issue that could sometimes cause large moving polygon spawn bikes around Hurston. They've made some fixes for the commons area of the transit system on New Babbage. There was some uh, bits that were missing uh, there. Uh, after undocking the Merlin from the Connie, other players should now be able to undock it as well. Players should no longer be able to gain a crime stat when colliding with their own ship using their secondary docked ship. They fixed an issue causing ram vehicles to clip through and fall out of cargo bays of ships. Mining module UIs should now align correctly when toggling from one consumable to another. Players should no longer be able to launch someone into the air by jumping while heavy melee attacking them. That was clearly not a bug, that was a feature. Uh, criminal variants of the Valkyrie should now stream in correctly at distances further than a thousand meters. Audio over VoIP should no longer be significantly more quiet and hard to discern for both proximity chat and the party channels. They fixed an issue causing players to not get a prompt to call ATC when approaching a station. Doors on docking arms at stations should no longer open by being shot at. Uh, the bench in New Babbage Commons Metro Station should now have proper interaction. And they fixed a client crash and two server crashes. There are still, however, some major issues that remain unaddressed. And I would expect them to be addressed for a live build. I would expect them to be blockers for a live build is what I'm trying to say. Uh, ASOP terminals display a ship as unable to spawn at this time sometimes. And could even find a player for spawning a ship if there is one on the pad already. So um, trolleys can be used to blow up ships and kill players pretty easily um, and they're not working while going up ramps. Obviously they're quite griefy and um, well they could be used quite griefily so and they need to be solved really and you can also get a random crime stat when killing a bounty um, lawfully which isn't ideal. That means you can't do bounty hunter gameplay probably. Uh, some more minor ones are also uh, the customizable nameplates do not appear visible on the Carrick Expedition uh, docking with a moving ship so the B-52 trying to dock with the Connie if it tries to dock with it when it's moving it sort of snaps and janks around with it and there's some quite opaque fog and sort of gas clouds around Lagrange points and gas clouds um, when you're in the cockpit of your ship so that's not ideal. Cloud Imperium are very much wanting to try and push 3.13 live as soon as possible now. Most likely that will be next week when they can have a planned sale of the Rock DS and the Cyclone MT and anything else that's sensible to sell that might have been updated. They might even sell the Tonk and the Starlifter C2 and M2 um, sort of makes sense for them to sell the Hercules. Um, even though it's not going to be coming until a later 3.13.x patch along with the Tonk, so um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, it's possible that those more major issues could get fixed in a 3.13.x patch as well, but I think they are pretty major, so hopefully they'll be resolved. They would damage your playing experience for a live build for sure. Uh, but what do you think? Will we see 3.13 live next week? Could Cloud Imperium be crazy and try and launch it this weekend? Do you think they will have solved those major issues that I outlined before going live? Have you been playing in the PTU builds? What are your experiences? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Do you have questionable taste in anime? Do you not want internet pirates looting your internet search history? Do you want a way to have more accessibility to the internets from more countries? Or is your security and privacy important to you? Well, get NordVPN. I shill for them and you should use the code BOARDGAMER or the links below for a discount. Try it out. It's like a fleet of escort ships making sure your internet experience doesn't get griefed. We have the April ship giveaway as well for a Mercury Star Runner. The ship is extremely multi-role and should be part 
part of any budding citizen's fleet. All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning one is comment on any of my videos made during the month. A random commenter will take that prize. These giveaways and the wider channel content are made possible by people that go the extra mile by becoming a Patreon or a YouTube channel member with that join button in the links below. And me and Zin, the editor for the channel, are now trying to put out regular exclusive content as a thank you. We'll also be asking you in those videos to help shape the channel with uh, making decisions about what content we do and how we do it. Please consider joining if you're really enjoying the content. It really does help. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more Star Citizen content, and I'll see you in the verse.